Festival when they dropped a song called Get Lit, and Smith says this is the first from an upcoming album. I'm your info on the Tanscore News Network. 92.7 WOBM. Good morning. Thanks, Aaron. Uh, Wednesday morning. It's August 30th, and hard to believe, Sue, the end of another Blue Claw <laughs> season is right around the corner. It feels like we were just throwing out the first pitch. So quick, I know. And then the season was beginning. Oh, my goodness. Greg Jambarisi is here, the voice of the Lakewood Blue Claws, <laughs> and of course, a friend of the show, and he's been with the Blue Claws for quite some time. He's sitting in studio with us this morning. Greg, good morning. Good morning, Sean and Sue. Thanks for having me on. Hi, Greg. How are you? Very good. How are you? Perfect. Wow. The end of another season. Yeah. You just finished up your last road trip. We didn't. We got back at 7 o'clock on Monday morning, got back. Uh, but yeah, that's all right. We just have what a great weekend. What does it feel like planned. when you get on that bus it, for the last time? Well, for it's, the de- season. it's definitely bittersweet. You yeah. know, because we've been going, you know, the, the players get about 12 days off from opening day all the way through until. Labor Day. Oh, Opening days in early that's April. That's it, 12 and th- days. Yeah. There are mm. four in the first half, five in the second half, and three for the All-Star break. That's it. Mm. And then, you know, they start on about March 1st when they get to Florida. So, um, you know, there aren't too many off days down in spring training either. So those guys have been going really hard for a long time. And um, I think, you know, they're tired. But at the same time, you love playing. And, um, you know, we love calling the games and everything. So it's definitely it's definitely a bittersweet time of the year. But we're going out uh, this weekend with some good stuff. So it'll be fun. All, All right. right. So let's talk about it. It's the last homestand. It begins, I guess, tonight. And you're going to be running straight through till Monday, you were saying. Right. It was supposed to, bring, it was supposed to begin last night, but yes. it's not the nicest thing. No. So, uh, yeah, doubleheader today and then everything uh, here through Monday. So the big thing is Saturday. So Saturday is our third year we're doing this. It's called the, the Blue Claws Extravaganza. Mm-hmm. So the gates are going to oh, open cool. at 3.30. It's a 7 o'clock game, but the gates are going to open at 3.30. And We'll have free rides, inflatable rides, uh, games, and stuff like that for the little kids. Uh, in the front of the ballpark, there'll be a, some more rides, bounce houses, that kind of thing, and a touch-a-truck event, which is always really popular. And then we'll have uh, a specialty kids' Comic-Con picnic. All the details you can find at bluecloss.com slash extravaganza. There's also going to be a Beatles tribute night that we're doing. Uh, so our players are going to be wearing special Beatles-themed jerseys. They look like the—they're modeled after the— <laughs> Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club oh, Band album. Cool. I was going to yeah. say, what type of B? Are they wearing tuxes or what? what no, are they... so this was the 50th anniversary of that release. Yes. They released that album from 1967, so we decided to go in that direction. There'll be a, a Beatles tribute band called British Mania that are, mm-hmm. I heard are really good. Uh, they'll be playing live from 5 to 7. We have a team autograph signing and a bunch of other stuff. Vendor Village, so uh, mm. that, that's all Saturday. That's the big one. And then Friday we have fireworks. Sunday we have a double fireworks show because we had one rained out, unfortunately, <sighs> oh, on uh, uh, last week, so yeah. we just doubled them up, and then also Friday we're going to be for one night only the Jersey Shore pork rolls. Yes. So we were going to do that last week, got rained out, doing it on Friday. Yes. Cool. All right. Wow, that's a lot going on in the next uh, few days. And then Monday is the is the finale. So Monday's cool because after the game we bring everybody on the field, all the fans get to come on the field. We'll have the players there, the staff, um, pork roll, egg and cheese, Buster, Riptide. We bring everybody on the field and we take a big photo. So fan, uh, the annual fan photo on the field, which we'll do on uh, on Monday. On that, Monday. That's, that's how we finish Labor it. Yeah. That is Very cool. nice. Very nice. And when you look back at this season, I guess one of the highlights has to be when Tim Tebow came to town because you yeah. had quite the house uh, filled over at First Energy Park when he was in town. Yeah, definitely. We had 23,000 in three days, and we would have had – the, the first day was a Saturday. We got rained out. It w- that would have been 10, 10 plus thousand, uh, no doubt about it. Wow. On Saturday, May 13th, and it was just a total washout, unfortunately. But, yeah, it was, it was pretty amazing. He was great. He signed autographs for uh, as long as he possibly could. He was great with the media. And, um, you know, we saw people wearing Tim Tebow jerseys, Mets, Fireflies. So that's who we were playing, yeah, Columbia. Yeah. Um, the Broncos, football jerseys, the Eagles, right? Football the, jerseys. Yeah, yeah, the Patriots. The uh, <laughs> obviously the University of Florida. It was unbelievable. Yeah. It was a really uh, there was there was nothing quite like it. I think in, in minor league baseball in years. Not since Michael Jordan played in 1994. Yes, mm-hmm. when he was with the White Sox. Yeah, he played in in Chattanooga. Oh. And back then there was a rule in the Southern League where you were able to put up a dummy fence. So basically, go to left center and go to right center, and then draw a line to about you know, 30 or 40 feet in front of the foul pole, and they put these dummy fences up, which created a smaller field, but yeah. it would also create extra area for fans. Yeah. And they would dump fans into the <laughs> outfield corners in the Southern League that year. Well, mm-hmm. We didn't have oh, that rule, cool. or I'm sure a lot of teams would have taken advantage of it. Yeah, yeah. You that's guys, cool. even in, in the outfield there, you, you know, on the grass, I mean, it was just filled. It was Packed, something. Yeah, for, and, and, you know, one of those days was Mother's Day, which traditionally <laughs> oh, is, yeah. not, is not a is not a, um, a big day at the ballpark because mothers, the last thing they want to do is chase their seven-year-old kids around the 
uh, the ballpark on Mother's Day, which yeah. is like, we don't blame them. So, but that uh, Mother's we, Day, the moms were chasing Tebow pa- around the stadium. Pa- <laughs> <laughs> no you doubt. bet we were. <laughs> but it's been a great season. Thousands of fans have been out at First Energy Park, and uh, it's just been another great season and with Greg, Blue Claws Baseball. you do such a great job. You love what you do, right? I do re- very much. So it's, it's a lot of fun. Cool. It's a lot of fun. So now very do you cool. sit you home like in, in, in like December and you're like in your living room calling like, get games like you turn the sound off and you're, you know, you're yeah, calling yeah, games at home? <laughs> is that when your downtime is? Like yeah. winter? Yeah. September. Definitely September, a little October. Okay, good, yeah. good. It ramps up, but that's okay. Uh, we have a lot of fun stuff planned, so uh, we are, we're actually already starting to plan for 2018. Next which, year. That's a little too early for me, but I guess yeah. you know, yeah. sometimes you got to do it. <laughs> I was amazed when I was out there as guest PA announcer, and I really enjoyed it. It was oh, a, yeah, great a great time. Job. Thank you. you. Great it was job. a great time. We're but I was blown away at how busy you guys are. When when you go to First Energy Park, folks, the the, the folks that are behind the scenes there putting on the I game, have. there's video and there's audio and there's announcements and there's <laughs> contests and there's things on the field, back upstairs. You guys, it never stopped. I got two breaks in five hours. They, <laughs> they gave me 30 seconds. I had to laugh. I said, oh, you get two breaks when Greg comes in to do the races. The races were over in 30 seconds. Yeah. You ran yeah. back oh, in to sure. do the play-by-play, and I ran back out to do the, uh, the wow. announcing. So. Sue, it was a crazy night, but you guys do a wonderful job well, over thank there. thank you very much. It really is something into every home that. game you guys do. Yeah, we try to put on uh, 70 different shows. Yeah, it a is year, a show. Yeah. Every single night you do. It That's really so is. Cool. What time's first pitch tonight? Tonight, 5.05. We got double uh, double header. So 5.05, gate should open be at a beautiful night, too. Yeah. yeah. It should be and a good then, night for it. Uh, 7.05 tomorrow, 7.05 Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Oof. then 1.05 on Monday to finish it up. Very good. Greg Jambarisi, you can hear. Year. If you're not you. out of the Thank stadium, you. be sure to go over to his sister station, 1160, 1310. You can hear Greg do the play-by-play as he winds down the season. And uh, do you have something special planned for Monday when you sign off? Or do you do, uh, you, you do anything special? Sing or you no, know, recite poetry? I don't sing nothing under like any that? <laughs> <laughs> but we we'll come up with you we'll know, we have a lot of people to thank and um, yeah that takes a couple innings yes so. <laughs> it's a it's a long season Greg thanks for being out here thanks with us thanks guys for having me I enjoyed it hey we'll be All back right, we'll check on news traffic and weather Dan Zaro has a perfect ballpark forecast yes. coming up next on WOBM Ocean County News on Ocean County.